All right, so friends, welcome. We're playing some historic, playing a really cool looking deck here I stole from the internet. Uh, Nico VCT posted this deck on Twitter, and it looked really, really cool. It's a hardened scales deck in historic with a lot of cool things going on. So, of course, if you watched my videos recently, you would have uh, heard about the deck that we were trying out for Worlds. It's Sam Pardee built, based around Soul Cauldron and Thrillseeker in Standard. A really potent combination of cards. If you ever have a Thrillseeker under a Cauldron, all of your cards that have counters on them just fling, which is insane. Uh, and then this is, like, is using, it's not the main idea of this deck, but it's a really, really awesome plan B. So hard scales, of course, really cool enchantment. Adds extra counters to everything. We also have Ozolith, same idea. And we have tons of counters here. Uh, Hangerback Walker, Patchwork Automaton, Steel Overseer, Iron Apprentice. So counters galore. And similar to the modern version of the deck, I was missing a lot of cards. You know, there was no Ink Moth Nexus or Arc Battle Ravager, but a lot of cool things happening here. Uh, animation module, uh, makes servos. you got the Ozolith going on. A little bit of interaction here in Voltage Surge. We don't have Ink Moth Nexus. We have Blink Moth Nexus in Historic, which is great. And then a couple kill spells, a couple cyborg cards. You get the idea, right? So that's the deck, and let's get right to the games. Brought to you by Apparel.shop. Best magic or power out there, not even close. I'm not wearing a shirt today, unfortunately. This is my Skate Safe, my skate safe Champion shirt for my, uh, my, old, my Beer League hockey. Uh, but magic shirts come at their best when they are made by Coalesce. Uh, super high quality, super comfortable, great designs. Tons and tons and tons of designs at this point, and uh, check them out, obviously. Hop on over there. They have stickers, hoodies, whole bunch of stuff. Check it out. Call us at shop. Use promo code JIM10 to have a separate order. Call us at shop. Also, my merch is on there, too. Pile Driver shirts, Pile Driver's hoodies, Pile Driver's stickers. Uh, the new Pile Driver Ska shirt's on there. Lots of good stuff. Check it out. Call us at shop. Promo code JIM10 to have a separate order. Call us at shop. All right. Chat. Coming out of me. Love it. Hands great, keep. <laughs> Bingo! Alright. Put on mulligans. We got turn one hard scales, turn two is Amaton, turn three hangerback walker. Yes. Planes go. Love it. Hard scales. I'm not gonna play hangerbacks on zero. Planes, planes, luminarch aspirant. <laughs> Wish they had a hard scales, didn't they? Alright, so I'll play this and it's Amaton. Arc my Ravager when? Hey. Could have probably went for zero there if I wanted to pump this, but not really necessary, I don't think. Armor Ravager would be pretty busted in Historic, honestly, with all the artifact lands. So a number of Arcbound Worker effects, too. Is Vengevine Historic? Vengevine's not Historic, right? Vengevine's one of those cards that just never works. I don't know. It's been by Cube for a long time now, and, like, I just... Looked at it recently and I was like, why is this card in here? This card's just freaking like... It's a really cool card. I've played it standard a lot, you know, but... It's a hard card to make work. Turn three in the freaking tank. Let's go. <sighs> Ballista is not, not on Arena. It does not exist. What's up, Towerfall? Happy Sunday, my friends. Remember, folks, if you're sitting here, welcome with that follow button. Watching on YouTube, folks. YouTube, folks. YouTube, folks. That's you. YouTube, folks. You, you, you. Enjoy the content. I want to support me as a content creator. That can have a second. Like the video, please. It helps a ton. Leave a comment. Support the channel. Appreciate it. Y'all awesome. All right, so pretty good draw here. I don't took so long here, uh, but whatever. Iron Apprentice is a great draw. So we get to uh, pump this thing up twice now. We get to go Apprentice, pump it, Walker, pump it. So we're going big here. Play this. This is X equals one. Now we're going to get five, five, two, 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 two. And... They can pump the Adeline up to a point where I can't block it anymore, but I think I want to get in here. I might just block with the Hangerback Walker, so I can block with the Reprentice, but move the counters there, too. And then I have another Hangerback Walker next turn. It's hopefully no Skyclave-y kind of thing here. Sentinel's obviously great for us. Lieutenant is less great for us. That's a problem. Uh, okay. So let's see here. We're gonna pump there. I think we're gonna go like this. Take seven, have a huge hanger back, and just try and block with it next turn. Make a bunch of thopters. Pretty good draw on the play from our opponent, unfortunately. Um, yeah, no real other great blocks. This is fun. Alright, down to nine. Modular over to the walker. Is now five. Ooh. 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 
the Glimmer Wasp can destroy my own Hangerback Walker. So I can go Glimmer Wasp, pump it, make seven one ones. It's pretty good. Um, can't do that and play the other Hangerback Walker. If I want, if I want to add counters to it, fifteen. How good is pump this? Just pump and kill. Yeah, I'll just say go here. Like, can they attack into this board? Mon Capitan. They hit another Thalia's Lieutenant, I guess. Alright. One recruitment officer. That's not that bad. Right. Let's see what they want to do here. If they Leroy, I can make an army of Thopters. If they don't, it's also pretty good for us. The math starting to turn. Yep, there we go. All right, so I got to pump the brakes here a little bit. And now I get to keep pumping this walker up. And we're just going to untap. Sick. All right. So now I get to play this hanger block walker on one, I guess. Because we can't really play it on two and have it mana do everything. So play this on one. I need one mana to do this, one mana to do this. Pump the automaton. And now we're just like holding pattern of like, we're about to make up a jillion doctors. So they can't. As long as we just sit here for a while, we'll, we'll, we'll win the game eventually. So just say go. The next can also block too. We can block the next and activate, which is kind of cool too. Move to combat. Pump the sentinel. Oh yeah, let's go. Pump this up. Nine nine. Could just pop it now, and just like attack for. Eight, attack for seven next turn. I'm gonna wait. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. All right, now we're getting crazier. All right, so this can add a counter. Um, doesn't really do anything as far as adding abilities goes. Can add abilities to it later. Oh my god, there's so many freaking permutations now. All right, just cast cast the cauldron. They just draw a card, whatever. Not paying for. Pump that. We just say go. Yeah, let me just like. We kill a walker. We can like pump another thing. We're, they're, they're just gonna die next turn, so whatever. We'll just say go. Um, giving the hangerback walker ability to creatures is pretty cool, but like I don't think it matters that much. Glimmer Wasp can keep, keep everything flying, but I need... Yeah, that does, that does actually work, too. So this can destroy itself and give things flying. That's true. Um, I'll just say go. As of right now, we have, like, 15 Doctors waiting in the wings, so... If I had a Brutal Cathar, too late. Here's Brutal Cathar. Yeah, that's fine. Targeting... The big hanger bug walker. That was the worst target possible, I think, because now I just I was gonna kill it anyway. Let's pump that. And then we're going to Soul Cauldron. Exile this. Target this. Then we're going to activate this. And then we're going to destroy this. Just the old 13 Thopters. Fizzle that. Aspirant, yeah, whatever. Desperation Leroy. Oh, love it. Just send. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to tackle everything. All right, so they're dead on board, pretty much. Yeah, we should get fly. I love it. I just love the, like, uh, woo! All right, so we're going to bring in a few removal spells here. Uh, these Shadow Spears are also kind of interesting, too. So Shadow Spear, Shadow Spear, Surge, Tower, Tower. And what are we cutting? I think the module is a little slow. Module. Ozolith. Most of the herbal exiles. Let's get rid of the Ozolith. 
Battlefield like counters on it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Leafs, Leafs Battlefield. Still, I don't think going tall like one thing is that relevant. I don't know, honestly. I think you definitely want their rule spells, right? Like, it seems like it's pretty good. Maybe Shadow Spear's not necessary. Yeah, I just don't need that. And then... Shave... Maybe a Thrill Seeker. An Ozolith and a Module. Just like all the redundant pieces. Which only want to draw one of. Lethal previous turn by destroying Zat, Zabaz. I mean, we had Lethal if they didn't have anything. You know, they could have had some card I wasn't thinking of or whatever. We're just like never going to lose anyway, so. Alright, so Hands Great Keep. Turn one, giant killer. Oh, yeah, Hardened Scales. Oh, let's do this. Alright, here's Hardened Scales. Probably get an Overseer on two here. Lieutenant. Not a very good draw on their part. They have Adeline on three. It's a little rough. Torch can't kill that, but Apprentice. We're going to Overseer. Just going to jam it. Then we can go Scales, Apprentice, Torch Tower next turn. So they have Brutal Cathar here on three. I have the Torch Tower too, so all right, that's fine. So here's Brutal Cathar. Hit this thing, no problem. Now I get to go Hard Scales, Apprentice, and then Torch the Tower on this. I might actually just do it now because they get to upgrade the elements, so... We need uh, Harden Scales. We need an Iron Apprentice. Seems pretty big. Then we want to go Mirix, Torch the Tower. No bargain. I come to bargain. They get it again, like whatever. You know, like. Mon Capitan. I like Scar a lot. Big fun guard. No! Alright, so they spike another copy of Baruch Athar. And now we're actually in trouble, because we only have nothing, basically. Um, second Nexus, we draw the Glimmer Wasp. It's pretty good, I guess. Play this. Play this. Alright, I mean, we say go. We can, like, animate a Nexus, and then blow up the apprentice and modular to it or something like that could be a way to do things they have a tapper in theory we're probably just dead here honestly double brutal with is pretty brutal and then we just kind of didn't really get going enough yeah tap the wasp sure all right here they come i mean this is like fine Block sack modular. Put this here, put this here. Take five. Kill this thing, get our overseer back. There's a chance we win this game. Let's destroy the apprentice. Pump here. It's huge. Alright. Down to three. Untap. Wanted to draw a one drop there. That would have been our best possible draw, but still kind of okay here. Play land. Play an overseer. I mean, hard scales. I have double nexus to block with, and they're all everything's freaking huge. Um, we say go. We're at three. I have four blockers. They have three or four attackers. If they were ink moths, they'd be lethal. Yeah, that's true. You know. Honestly, this is, like, fine. I don't think sizing is that scary for us. Our stuff's really, really big. Alright. Activate. Activate. Move the block. So we have... Everything's getting plus four, plus four. So this eats this, this eats this, this eats this, right? 
They're just dead, right? Woo! Oh my God. It's a massacre, folks. They're just, they're just dead. Um, if I fire up the Nexus with nine modular, sack this and modular to it, and then probably just kill them, right? I think. Fire us up. Play a new wasp. Could just get flying all sets. Well, new wasp means I can modular and then pump. So we have 10 plus 7 plus 3. Yeah, they're just like super dead. Keep the new one. Sack the old one. Modular. I should have, I should have overseered first, actually. Whatever, they're just freaking dead. Who cares? <laughs> that was that was a pretty sick match. I haven't caught the stream since right before I got the puppy. Karn? Whew. I Karn a long time ago. What's up, my friend? Welcome. Vegas is great. Uh, this is fine. We just have, like, module on one. This guy plus token on two. Just kind of, like, go from there. We have you also, so... Right. Elvish Mystic off of a red-green land. Module number two sucks. Uh, real diminishing returns here. Delighted halfling. Static dish. What is this? What is this? The little gruel beats here? Alright, so we're gonna go. I was gonna play all my stuff, honestly. I'm just gonna play another module and the Ozolith, and actually I can go apprentice in two two creatures. All the setup stuff. So next turn I go apprentice, pay one, make a token, pay one, make a token. Go from there. Yikes! Uh, the questing beast. That's bad. You draw a hanger bag walker. All right. Uh, sure. We just play this X equals one and make one thing. So, choose a kind of or I So I can block with this maybe. Pump and pump and block. Well, I think he's pretty good against us. At least until we like get going. All right. Sure. They cleave in here. I guess they have this thing. Makes red. Stomping ground. Oh god. Discharge for four. Oh yeah, kill me. Do it. I want you to do it. Come on. Turn four kill for our opponent. All right. Let's hear it for them. Good beats. Good beats. Triple flame rift questing beast. All right. So. Opponent's playing some sort of like gruel aggro deck. Uh, Shadow Spear's coming in, unsurprisingly. Anything else? I don't know, honestly. Maybe the fourth Voltage Surge. And let's like do a similar shave. We shave like the module. Module's really slow. Let's shave all the modules. Shave one Ozolith. Um, do I want Torch Tower? I don't think so. This is fine. Card's pretty cool too, but this is fine. I'll show us. Whew! That was a game. What a draw. Every card. Boom, 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 boom. Dead. It's like four, 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 four. I think this was three, four, 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 five, whatever. All chunks of four, basically. On the play. Uh, Sans thanks, Ram Mulligan. One liner, no good. That's a lot better. Uh, keep this. Um, I think we bin the Thrill Seeker. Just go turn one, tap land. Turn two, automaton. Turn three, spear wasp. Like we have four of the Thrill Seekers. So we're not, like, you know, dying for that card or anything, so. Having the Ward 2 creature with the Shadow Spear seems pretty good. Another Wasp. We can modular onto it, too. It's kind of cool. I think that the, uh, the modular plus one on Zabaz doubles when you have, oh my god. When you have, uh, two of them when you Legend Rule it. Ozolith. Ooh. Uh, sure. Let's Ozolith first. Land. Ozolith. Add a counter. 
Wasp add two counters. And then I think I leave it back on D just to hold back this guy for it actually doesn't actually matter, right? Yeah, just go back. We're gonna Shadow Spear next turn for a million, so. We draw a land, I can go Zabaz and then Shadow Spear equip it. It's gonna be like a 10 10, so. No ancient grudge. I guess that's, that's ward too. It's pretty hard to kill, so. Rube. Yeah, this is it. This is the turn, folks. One untapped land here, please. Got a cool deck. It's like sort of legal and standard, right? Some Samet, Ruby. Half. That card's not legal and standard. Halfling, halfling. Sure. Fine by me. Take two. No draw. We draw a land, too. This is the turn, folks. Shadow Spear. Pump. Zabaz. Second copy. Pump. Legend Rule. Keep this one. Modular. Pump. Oh, yeah. 12. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Go, buddy. 13 13 Life Linger. Do it. That's what's up. A little one? All right. 29 to one. So they're implying they have a way to kill my Shadow Spear, I guess, or the Automaton. We also have his Nexus, which is like, you know, just, just dink it in for one. Bloodbraid Elf, love it. God, Historic's best format by a mile. They find a Lanner Elf, that's not good enough. Game three, let's go. All right, game three. Uh, now that we're on the draw, I'm a little more interested in the uh, in the Torx Towers. Let me cut like the Ozolith and Soul Cauldron is also a little sketchy against them. It's kind of slow. All I did have throws are just a fling and kill them. So let's just shape a Soul Cauldron. Let's try and make the deck a little more lean. Kill her stuff on the draw. Got to be smart. Jets game started. J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Already lucid. Uh, we got pretty good hand here. Overseer's a little slow on the on the on the, on the draw too, but forest creature. Uh, I'm just gonna play. It's the apprentice. And then do I Ozolith or Overseer? On Crop Crasher? Gangster. Alright, sure. Drop Mirix. Uh, okay. Let's play Overseer until it lives. Honestly, so. Here's Overseer. Attack for one. I get to go Shattered Spire, Zabaz, Overseer. It's pretty insane. Yeah, they're just jamming. So... Them jamming's very good for us, because we, we just do we just do our thing too. It might be fast enough, so it might just be dead. Uh, let's play Beseju. Ozolith. Zabaz. Activate. And just say go. They have on crop pressure to do it, get some uh, get some beats in, but. I might be dead here, honestly. Crash number two. Yeah, that's lethal. All right. Two turn, four kills. Wow. What a sicko. Um, I mean, board and extra rule spells just didn't draw them either, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, it's beats. What are you going to do? They exert both these. That's a good draw. I mean, <laughs> turn four kills. Coming in. Yeah, I mean, we, we obviously had six kill spells in our deck. So we were trying to interact on the, on the draw, but just didn't really draw anything. So that's cool. Good beats. Cool deck.
Yeah, if I held the overseer till blocks, yeah, it's true. But I can then, then like chump block him with an overseer or whatever. So like, I wanted. I guess I was playing on like removal, but like it makes more sense to hold the overseer. Sure, I probably sort of lost, but that's fair. Very fair. All right, uh, I keep this one. Um, I guess apprentice. They're playing Luris. It's hard to know what Luris deck they're playing. I'm gonna play the Ozzy first. A little more grindy, so now whatever I play that dies, we'll at least get to get the counters for later. Blue black. All right, it's like the ninja. No, not, not ninja. This is the. What is this deck then? Is there like a fairy deck? I guess like bitter blossom and stuff like that. Maybe it's kind of cool. Top bottom and ornithopter. Well, I understand because all the ninjas cost more than two, so like you can't play the ninja with the lurises. Hmm. I guess you can play the cheap ninja, but all right. So nexus number two, just play hanger back. A little lacking in uh, in oomph here. I thought this was fine. I'm not a huge fan of this card. It can do some pretty cool stuff, but it requires a lot of other things happening too. All right, so blue black something. Obviously, Bowmasters is nerfed into high hell, and they're not playing any cards that cost more than three or creatures, or whatever. Attack for one. I assume no ninja here because the weren't after staying home, so. Slip it. Freaking chair, man. There's your foundry. Pretty good. So this is a 4 4 now. Changeling Outcast. There's, there's a common 2 1 ninja. Alright, so. I mean, we're just jamming the. Just jamming the ones. Can't block, can't be blocked. These are both Thopters, obviously, for their foundry. But, like. You can, like, just block and move stuff to this. Let's see what happens. So, stack this, make a 4 4. Say go. We can like chump with the apprentice and module the counters over. The problem is if they have a like, way to kill us in response, it's like pretty bad for us. I think we should take the beats. It's funny how Arcbound Worker would probably be better in deck. Because actually has modular. It's like same very like same, very similar card, but. Alright, they have Thousand Faced Shadow. That is a ninja. It is buffed in uh, this format for some reason. And this thing's gonna copy, I guess, the 4-4. Four -four. It's pretty good. Alright, sure. Hello, Pip. Alright, we've drawn some lands. We have Besaju. We can kill one of these. They have another 4-4 four -four coming too, though. I think we're probably dead here, honestly. Um, I should have blocked. I don't know why I didn't block. That's stupid. I like, talked about it, but just kind of just didn't do it. Um, we get to Besaju. Pump. Shoot. Besaju a construct, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I should just blocked the module last turn. Sack this, make a 4-4. Four -four. Card's really good. The old foundry. Where am I from? Long Island, New York. A-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. All right, so... (sighs) 
Yeah, this is bad. Uh, I get to kill one of these, block one. I want a modular to the hangerback walker before it dies, but I can't really do that. I could like I could I could shoot it, I guess. That works, I suppose. Let's do that. All right, let's do this. Block like this. We're also painting twice too. This sucks. So let's go destroy the apprentice. Modular here. Again, I'm sorry, not modular, because modular would be even better. Counter's there, counter here. We're gonna besage you the unblocked one. Down to seven. And then pump this up. Problem is we're just like running out of things to do. Because now with the hangar box gonna trade, we're gonna have, we have some flyers, but not much else. We need to draw something that's like kind of reasonable. We have the Ozzel with kind of doing stuff too, but. Yeah, a bunch of random ninjas are buffed. It's really, really awkward. Alright, so Hanger Back dies. We take one. We get four flyers. Now that Ozzel with the Ozzel has a bunch of counters on it, I can move those to a Thopter next turn. Maybe we're like okay here. I don't know. It's a little rough. They have like Lurus still, like a bunch of cards in their hand. An outcast. Alright, that is unblockable. Pharisee is very blockable. Bottom bottom. Love a good bottom here. Untap a drop. Patchwork automaton. Terrible tap. Just an awful tap. Tap me out of red there. That sucks. Automaton, move to combat. Put the counters here. Probably need to just get in, honestly. I don't think we can afford to like sit back really. Tag like this. We have a Nexus to block with also. Can't block this. They have three attackers. Sure. Oh man, getting it. Uh Outcast can be a 4 4, but it's almost I always prefer it to be a 4 4 that I can block than a than a 1 1 unblockable with us at 6, so. What's up, McKitty? How's it going, folks? If you're sitting here, welcome. My name is Jim, Pro Magic Player, full time content creator. Hi there, hello. Uh, playing some historic right now. Been streaming all day and uh, taking next week off because I got a lot to do. When my son turned one a few days ago. Gonna set up his room next week. I'm also super burnt out from from worlds and everything like that. So taking a week off next week from live content. All the recorded content and scheduled content will go off as planned. That's the deal. End step. Fatal push a thopter. Sure. And with Nexus still available, again, it really sucks I, I tapped out of red because of the freaking auto tapper, but. Make a 4 4, sure. I have blockers for days, you know. Spiteful Hex Mage. Damn. The Frogut is also cast. Alright. Token was killed before the counters, they would not be moved. Okay. I mean, I'm also fine just like letting this thing die and moduloring and get more counters in the Ozolith too, so we can go like, uh, I don't know, like here, here, here. I guess I, I, guess I have a lot of these too, that sucks. Uh, I can't take four. The Automaton honestly isn't super relevant at this point. 13. I guess we're running out of blockers, though. Let's just do this. And then we will modular over to the other Thopter. I guess they have, like, they have Lurus coming, too. Modular here. Ozzel pumps. We 
Transport 5. By Luris. Luris does give them nearly infinite blockers. We spike a Voltage Surge. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Damn, we're too short. Um, why not buff the land creature? Why buff the land creature? Uh, okay. So, problem being that once they play Luris, they can start playing an infinite chain of 1-1 blockers. Maybe the Ornithopters for free. Right now, we put them to... Just a little short here. Oh, did I have managed to activate the, the Nexus? Oh, uh, if I had if I had managed to, I, I should missed it then. My bad. I forgot I did that. Um, Eleven power, huh? I'm not sure how we finish this one off. Could tap us out to pay. Yeah, I punted. You're right. That actually might have won us the game too. Why am I my clock so freaking low? Um, shit. Yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, because none of my attacks are great. Once they have Luris, I can't. I guess I get to kill the Luris, but. All right, I'll just like pump the brakes, I guess, and try and. S I don't even know. We have no pain free source of red either. Das, new sub, what's your name? Welcome. Appreciate it. Pile driver now. Here's Luris. Big spicy graveyard. I have to kill the Luris immediately. I have to get this guy, so sure. Right, that's fine. They draw an Ornithopter too. Damn, so much crap. So much stuff in play. Alright, let's kill this. Uh, no. I got a Mirix, I guess. I'm better. Yeah, I just wasted a bunch of mana. I was, I was stupid. I'm sorry, folks. I've been shooting for a while now. Alright, on tap. We draw Voldaren Thrillseeker. Oh my god! Um, Six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, we're a mana short. Crap. So, I can put the counters here and fling. And then if I could also put the counters back to here and fling again, I would kill them, right? It'd be six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're still we're still like two damage short. God, why are we always a little bit short? Um, all right, let's just put this here, I guess. I gotta take a pain again. Damn. So thrill seeker counters go on this to make two bigger than four fours. Sucks. Infinite. Jump blockers here. No good attacks. What's up, Ruben? Sack this make a 4 4. Get the idea. So, eat a 4-4, four, four, eat a 4-4, four, four. jump this, shoot something, block this, no, let's kill the ground creatures actually, let's block here and here and we'll shoot this thing, that puts me to 1, or I can shoot one of the flyers, 
I think I have a ninja here. I should I should have done this. I should have I can't sack four blocks actually. Alright. Yeah. They have a ninja which dead, but whatever. They have a ninja. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I mean, almost had this one. We were really, really behind. And we still almost uh stole it. Actually, hold on. Well now they can do this one too. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Now I can just really read into this thing too. So, all right, close. Almost had that one. Very, very close game. Um, we're gonna want to bring in all of our mobile spells, and I think that's it. And we'll shave Ozolith. Just both Ozoliths, and then a modulo module. Let's try this. Ninja, ninja, rap. Go, ninja, go, ninja, go. Alright, so hard scales, apprentice, torch. Need a little help here. Need a little more oomph, but. Shock and Thopter. All right, so Surge. A little more removal than I would like, honestly. Uh, what you want? You want to have kill spells as like a little bit of flavor, not the main course, you know. But this is fine, I guess. Cast the Apprentice. Say go. The Ninja, we can kill it, which is great. Um, damn, that's rude. They're better suited to play their mobile game than we are, which kind of sucks for us, but... Got to cast a thousand base shadow. Cast another Thopter. All right. Oh. Sure. Oh my god, you're killing me smalls. Come on. All right. Uh, yeah. Here's a spiteful hex. That's actually insane. Spiteful Hex Mage plus Ornithopter is a buff. Look at that. The Frogan is also cast. Damn. Busted. Take two. Love the sound it makes, too. Alright, so we're gonna end step kill this. You draw a spell here? That is a spell, technically. They have a stern scolding, yeah. That's what I thought they had earlier when they paused on the thing. It's pretty crappy. Alright, the problem is we're both almost out, but they have Lurus. God, I wish they would just remove the companion mechanic from Magic the Gathering and ban it entirely, because I'm very, very sorry to, sorry to companions. One of the few formats. I think it's the only format that Lurus is still legal in, honestly. Alright, take three. I could draw a spell at some point here. Surgeon. Like a surgeon. Oh, Darren Thrill Seeker. I mean, listen. It's not the best right now, but it's better than nothing. Back it up. Got a 4-4. Four, four. So there you go. They have three crappy wall ones in the air. Taking three. Not going to blow our surge just yet. Save for Lurus. Lurus or a ninja. Silver Fur Master. That's actually gross. Because now they can ninja this for cheaper too. Ugh, man. I 
Deciding if they want to go for it or not. Because now they bounce this. That shit was really good. See that now they will target the master and I just kill it response. So that's fine. Kill this. So now we just take two and they lost a lot of mana. That's fine. All right. Need some help here. Need to draw a spell. That's a really good spell. Um, Thrill Seeker. Pump here. And now we're at 7-7 seven, seven attack. Companion, the biggest mistake of all time. It is definitely one of the biggest magic design mistakes in the history of the game, yes. I'm just going to kill this. Because they can't do some stupid crap with it. We're racing too, so. I guess they may like, draw a way to kill this, but like, they probably only have Fatal Push, I would think. So. so I, and then I lose 7 damage if they kill it before I untap, but them doing some weird ninja stuff is more scary, like like last turn. By Lurus, it's a good sign. Oh, nope, they're attacking, okay. Man, no fear Shakespeare with the attack, right? We just killed them with like, a lot of cards we have just killed them. Alright. Nope. Can't decide. All right, we just stop my ground tilt. We attack. Is there a reason to play stopping ground? They're gonna block. Not really. I guess we draw a hangerback walker. That's probably whatever. What are we? What are we, what are we hiding? I got another odd. The problem is now, now, they, now they play Lurus. They have fatal push. You son of a. God, damn it. All right, well, now you both have nothing, but they have Lurus. So, good old companion strikes again. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's not very fun, I guess, but... We had we had we had to use our third surge. That's the problem with drawing a bunch of kill spells and no no threats, you know. It kind of similar to the usual uh, the usual hardened scale stuff, where like you just if you draw the right mix, everything your deck's insane. But if you don't, there isn't really any fixing the deck to like find the cards you want. I guess modern is ancient stirrings, but otherwise you're kind of just like hoping you draw something useful, you know. Three four. This is gonna be a four four. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, they got us. All right, they draw land. They have the uh, hive too, so. Yeah, I mean, deck seems pretty pretty cool, but definitely a little vulnerable just like having awkward draws. Now they can just silver for master and then copy it. Yeah, we're super dead. Nope, they'll play the. Uh, I'm sorry, they can't need it from their graveyard. They have hive, though. Yeah, it's fine. All right, yeah. So, some tough games there. Uh, we got turned four a few times, but. So, we went one and two, but deck seemed pretty sweet, honestly. Um. Definitely, you know, I wish there was some way to smooth the deck out a little bit. Some way to, like, I don't really know, uh, you know, just have some sort of uh, card selection or something. Uh, hop over to Untapped out here. We're talking all of our games. Download it for free yourself. Untapped.gg. Hashtag sponsored. They're great, though. Use it beforehand, too. Well, I wanted to. Um, I'm a, I think there's a few too many, like, cutesy cards in here, like the animation module, the Ozolith. The problem is if you draw him, it's like, Module, Ozolith, Soul Cauldron, Ozolith, four lands, or, or three lands, whatever. Like, what the hell are you doing? You're not actually doing anything, you know? So, like, I'd like to see some more, just, like, more meat. Not finicky things that kind of make your other cards better. Uh, but that's cool. That's pretty sweet. So, that's it. Thank you, YouTube folks. Love you. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think. Peace.